hello guys welcome back to the video player app series in this part we will create our player activity where we will play our videos so first of all we have to create an activity empty activity so here we have to create empty activity and just rename this to let's say player activity and press finish and here we will first design our player activity layout so therefore we have to add some vector assets in our drawable directory create new vector assets and here we have to add play pause buttons forward and backward buttons so i am adding these all the buttons you can choose any of these this is the reverse and play icon this will be and then we have to add a pause button so pause let's say this pause button and now let's come to our activity resource file and here we will first our root layout to, to linear layout and then we will create our new linear layout inside this linear layout so this will be having an id of let's say lin okay let's say first and close this and now first of all i am going to add a dependency for our library that is exo player so just i have already copied it and now i am going to paste it and you just write this implementation in your dependency and now sync after syncing finished we will go to our activity main and here we have to add a player view of our exo player so just delete this and here you will write player view you can see this player view just add this player view and match parent match parent height and width and here we will give an id to this player view so let's say with you so we have given the id to this and now we have to add some more attributes to this player view and just here we have to add background for this so let's say background of uh, has ff000 uh, for black and then i don't touch it will be true to hide the controller in our player view so pass this true and also resize mode will be fit it will be fit and rewind increment this will be 10 seconds so 10000 milliseconds and so timeout to be and now we will add shutter background color and that will be black so has 000 and also one more attribute that is use controller that will be true and now let's close this first and also we will have to add some attribute for fast forward increment and this will be also 10000 milliseconds for 10 seconds and here we have controller layout id and this will be our custom controller layout id so we will pass it here and also we will have to add player layout id that will be layout id simple exo player and that means simple player view this will be and now we will first create our layout for our controller so go to the layout directory and here we will have to create layout resource file so let's name it as whatever you want and then press ok we can also change this to relative layout as a root layout and now go to the code editor and also i am going to give it an id so that i can use it somewhere where we want it so let's say add some id and here we will 
add some image views in our relative layout so create relative layout and this will be wrap content width and height will be also wrap content i'm going to give an id to this and after this we will close this and we have to add orientation and before that we have to change this relative layout to linear layout so change this linear layout and we will add an orientation this will be horizontal and here we will add image view and that will be of width some dps and height you can add width and height whatever you want and also i'm going to give an id to this and the id must be same what i have given here to seek the video back to 10 seconds and also i am going to give a margin to this and now we have to align this image views to center of the parent so going to the root layout and here we will add gravity attribute that will be center and now the image view is centered after this we will have to add a source of that image view and that will be our vector asset that we have already added into our tribal directory for our re replay button and now we will copy this and paste it for two more times for play buttons and fast forward button and here we have to change this id to play exo play and also source for this image view and this will be exo pause and also we will have to add source for this vector set and that will be our pause and one more time we have to paste it for fast forwarding that will be ffwd xo ffwd and now th the buttons for fast forwarding and play pause is done now we will add a relative layout outside of this linear layout and inside of the root relative layout inside of this relative layout we will be adding our default seek bar for our player view and this will be width of match parent and height of wrap content and we have to add one more attribute layout align parent bottom to true to take it at the bottom of the parent layout and now we have to center our buttons so we will just delete this and we have to add in our linear layout center in parent that will be true and now all the buttons are centered parent and here we will add a default time bar for our seek bar that will be of width match parent and height will be wrap content and we will give an id to this and that will be exo progress and this must also be same what i have given here and the unplayed color for our seek bar will be you can add any of the color i'm going to add gray color and the color played will be has f00 for our red color and after this we will align our time bar so we will have to add a margin margin bottom of some dp and you can add also margin start and margin end too and now i am going to create text view to show the progress that is the position of the video that is played yet so we have to add an id and that will be our position exo position and uh, to start of uh, exo progress and uh, margin will be let's say 10 dp parent start to be true you can see the text view and now we will copy this and paste it here for total duration to be shown exo duration and layout to end of exo progress and align parent in to be true and now i think i have done this controller custom controller view 
and now we can go to the activity main layout resource file and here we have to add the id that is at the rate layout slash the layout resource file that we have created and after all of these things we have to start our activity that is player activity when we will click on any one of the items that is video items so first close this and now we will go to the video adapter and inside this we will go to on bind view holder and here we will call holder dot item view dot set on click listener and we will set on click listener to it and inside this one click method we will create intent new intent equals m context and player activity dot class and we will just start this activity using m context dot start activity and we will pass the intent here in start activity method and now let's run the app and see if the controller is visible or not so run the app and here you can see the gradle build is failed and why it is failed you can see the error lots of errors and this error is due to we have to add source compatibility and target compatibility that will be java 8 version into our gradle module app so this error actually arises into our exo player when we implement exo player library into our app so we have to add compile options here in our android here compile options and uh, inside this compile options we will start a curly braces and in curly braces and here we will write uh, source compatibility and target compatibility and that will be java version of 8 so if you get this kind of error just write what i am writing here source compatibility space java version version dot uh, i'm not seeing any suggestion actually we have to write uh, java version dot java version will be 8 one underscore eight and now we have to just copy this and paste it below and change this source compatibility to target compatibility and now after this we can sync now click on it sync now and this will finish gradle build successfully so now you can see the gradle build is successfully finished and now we can run our app let's run the app and now the app is installing just wait for it and after the installation is successfully finished you can see the app is launching you can see the all items in our video views you can see these are the video that i have stored in our static sd card when we will click on it we can go to the our player activity but we are not seeing any of the controller and the reason may be the background color that we have given to our player view is black and that's it for the tutorial thank you for watching in the next part we will complete our player view